Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you uh, what we did here at the house the day after um, Australia Day. So, you know, if you're a family who maybe doesn't have a lot of money, uh, or you're an adult who doesn't have a lot of money, and you're looking for something entertaining to do with your time, and you have a room that you really don't care about, which is exactly what this room is right now, because until it gets renovated, it is a really rough room. Uh, you can maybe do this. All you need is some chalk and um, a sponge to wipe off markings that you don't want and some cardboard boxes. You don't even have to have the cardboard boxes. We just uh, went out and got some so we could have them and uh, add them to the situation. And we also went out and got some uh, little vehicles, die cast and plastic vehicles, so we could have what I have called, since I was a child, Chalk City. So, here is, here's Chalk City. It goes around a couple of corners there. Alright, here we go. As I say, this is a floor we don't really care about. It used to have lino on it, and I ripped up the lino, and I found this fairly solid floor, but... A lot of this stuff that you're seeing in the corner, that's where um, time has had its impact on the floor. Um, and there's some leftover adhesive as well that didn't quite come up. So this is not a surface that, you know, you would normally just live with. But we've had to for quite some time because we haven't decided exactly what we're doing in here. And uh, as soon as we decide what we're going to do, the materials for doing that are no longer available. So, whatever. So, this area here had a cardboard box in it. This was the cinema parking lot. So, this desk here, which is like probably about 40 years old. And yes, that's 4040 years old, is the hospital. So, I'll show you that when we come back around. This was a pub, and this is the little drive-in section for the bottle -o. And, yeah, I admit, um, if you're doing this for kids, you might not fit in the bottle -o. I don't know. <laughs> um, we don't have kids here, so, yeah, we did, we did this as uh, an adult version. Um, and then from the cinema to some main streets here, and I'll tell you what this section is after a bit, so I'm just kind of trying to keep track of where I am here. So, cinema, cinema parking, back of the hospital. Um, then this is the pub and the bottle And then over here, we have just a little passing space so cars can pull off into this area. And we have some one-way streets surrounding a park where monster trucks usually stop off. We've only got one monster truck at the moment so it just sits here it's a happy little shark monster truck and these are um colorful umbrellas that people can sit under at round tables and have a picnic at the park these little green dots are just lily pads there used to be lily flowers there's some rocks over there just just there that green big blob there that's a tree any big green blobs or trees and then we have what was over here where the chalk box is. Um, that was, uh, let's see, car wash, service station, and major car repair. So like a wreck service. And then we have the mountainside. And so where my oven mitt is and some chocolates are um, was mountainside. And this was a... Oh, what do they call those? Uh, a view area, like scenic view. And then this thing here wound up being an Air Force base. So yeah, we did have Air Force. Um, and we had some little vehicles to go with that. And that in front of us there, this, <laughs> this box of chocolates here wound up being the Chocolate Chuckle Hut, which is a name I took from a cartoon called Chowder, because I love Chowder. And that area there was for the chocolate chuckle hut there's a little pond there and some trimmed hedges and parking and a tree 
in a pot just there. And whoop, this was something kind of like a, a big shopping center, sort of like Costco. And this is parking for that. And then that was um, apartments and various types of living. And that's the parking for that. And then we come over here. And <clears throat> then we have the section where the fire station was. So there's some more eating spaces just there for the fire station. And then there was the helipad for the fire station there. And this parking area here is for the airport, which is on top of this piece of furniture here. I'm just going to, yeah, scroll up and show you that a little bit. That was the runway, and there was a little fuel station up there. And then um, there was a, a private Lear jet that used to, that was taking off down the runway here. Um, so, yeah, that space there is for airport parking. And then there was the haunted house just there, which was another cardboard box. So there were cardboard boxes here, there was a cardboard box there, cardboard boxes there, um, and then, yeah, um, the helipad was an NRG tin, <laughs> and then um, there was a cardboard filler for the haunted house. So I drew a little sort of Pac-Man ghosty there, and there's what's supposed to be a couple of trees. It started getting dark, so I couldn't tell the difference between green and blue, and purple and tan and yeah anyway this room is really dark at night guys anyway those are supposed to be trees um and the little cardboard filler sat there and then this is supposed to be like um the fake haunted graveyard thing and then we keep traveling and this is free parking i always make a free parking sort of for putting my hands now normally when i do these things they're not this big they're on a chalkboard and i just lay the chalkboard flat but this one was so big that I just decided, you know what, I need free parking for my feet and my knees and my booty. So I made that. <laughs> so I needed something for more than just hands. Now, the main industry in this version of Chalk City, of all things, is breeding pink flamingos. I don't know why we decided that. Whatever, there was absolutely no alcohol involved in this, guys. We just got bored and got creative. And this is what we did for my belated birthday celebration, okay? So, um, yeah. There it is. The flamingo farm. And these little weird-looking things are pink flamingos. <laughs> uh, and there's another lake, and there's some more flamingos. And that parking space there is for the corn maze. Yay, corn! And I use different colors for different things. So the purple chalk here is supposed to be for fences. And the white is supposed to be for roads. And you can see the walk-around fence to gain access to the front of the maze. Yay! And it's gonna get a little shaky here for a second. <clears throat> More free parking for my feet. And then this is the bank. This piece of furniture here is the bank. So I'll give you a view back. There it is. There's how big it is. <laughs> and then we come around here. And this little thing here, that's a water fountain with a couple of little shrubs. Here's some shrubs here and then there's a big grassy area in front of the bank and there's a crosswalk and then a little strange little intersection there and we've got a cafe with some lily pilly trees here that's why they've got the little pink dots and a pond a no parking zone crosswalk and then we've got the um, <clears throat> cathedral so, like, there was a uh, cardboard box here. I think that was just a tea box. Yeah, it was a, a box of tea that went there. And um, that was a cafe. And then the cathedral was another cardboard box. And you see the crosswalks there. And it's got a pond and some banana trees. That's what these are. They're supposed to be bananas. 
I don't know. <laughs> and that's Lily Pilly. And there's some shrubs here, and these are flowers all through here. And um, that's just a, a gravelly section through there. So, yeah, that is where pasteurized milk gives his terribly predictable sermons. <laughs> so, over there we have the farmlands. So I'll show you around that. It might get a little bit shaky. Mm. Okay. Uh, so that big square rectangular looking thing, that's aquaponics. And then there's a BMX track. And that's a pumpkin patch. That's corn. Um, those are water tanks. That's a little, that, no, that's a mango tree. And yeah, you see the, the sort of electrical stuff that's going on. Um, the one that's coming up through the floor, by the way, is uh, for generator. Um, in case the power goes out and we can't rely on that outlet, we've got something close to it that will be fine coming up through the floor. Um, the grain silos, you see that here? Those are just some empty energy tins. And then I stood a heater on its end, and that's like the electrical tower. We're not exactly sure what it does, but maybe it provides electricity for Chalk City. So there were some cardboard boxes that were various buildings and sheds and barns through here. And then there was a cereal box here because that's the produce store. There's some sheep in here. There's some cows. Uh, I, th I think those are supposed to be cows. Yes, they are. They're cows. And you can see the trees. Sort of amorphous blobs. And um, this is a different way to do a fence. That was... That was not my drawing. This this entire section here was somebody else's drawing. Pretty much everything you've seen so far has been mine, with the exception of the um, Costco parking. Yeah. So we're starting to get into somebody else's creativity there. And here is the police station and donut shop. Um, right next to the bank, where, you know... It's best to be. Why not? And there's its parking, and it was a tea box as well. And of course, when I say tea box, I mean drinking tea. Yeah. Because I know there's some electronic device out there that's called a tea box. It's not exactly that. Alright, so this is the main drag. We can connect through the bank parking and the donut shop and cop shop through I said cop shop police station through to the main drag that takes us down in front of this chest of drawers which is the um the mountain mountain range and this that I'm standing in right now is the school so there's a cereal box that sits right where my feet are standing and that's a mango tree there's a big playground here for the school. And then this is the this is the army. It's a C battery, so I had a bit of a laugh and I, I put some C C cell batteries in the corners. <laughs> and this rather inappropriate looking thing. That's supposed to be a cannon, by the way, guys. I did not draw that. That was not my doing. <laughs> These are supposed to be army tanks, because we didn't have army tanks in any of the stuff that we had, so yeah, we just drew those. And then this stuff on the edge here, um, that's supposed to be something like razor wire or barbed wire. And then these things on the corners, those are watchtowers. And then there's the entrance. So there's a, is it a cereal box? Yeah, there's a cereal box that sits here too. And this is free parking. And that section of road because there's foot space underneath there, I decided to sort of make a, a roadway that had a, a cliff hanging over half of it, just for a bit of entertainment. Um, this is the hospital space here, so that's, that's the hospital. And then there's a statue that we put here. It's a pewter statue of some famous dude. I don't know. <laughs> 
He's around somewhere. I think he's back on the shelves where he belongs. And then these are bushes. And that's, that's the water tower. And this is um, Asian markets. Um, we decided to put something a little bit different in here. It was something that um, by the half decided it would be an interesting addition. So I was like, okay, yeah, sure. I have no idea what the little blue dots are, guys. No clue. I just, I know that, I know that these things are the stalls and little shops. And I know that you've got parking through here and here and there and there. And there's a drive path. But, yeah, I have no idea anything else that's going on there. It wasn't really explained to me very well. No, it's fixing to get really shaky, guys, so I apologize. As if it hasn't been shaky already. Here we go. Cool. Mm. All right. So I'm going to show you the long shot of that. There it is. It goes way back there. So there you go. And now we're back to the cinema parking lot and behind the hospital. Yay. So if, you know, you don't have a lot of money, maybe you want something to do, you've got a really crappy floor. Well, or just some ply that you can snackrifice. You can do something fun like this. Forgive the mess, as I say, this room is in need of some serious renovation. So we don't pay too much attention to um, detail in this room as much as just making sure it still functions for the family. And that's effectively it. <laughs> I like this view. It's so cool. This is the biggest one I've made so far. I hope you've enjoyed the tour. I enjoyed playing with this last night. Um, Bruiser came up with some really fun story ideas, which I won't share with you here. Um, they were a bit on the mature side. So, um, yeah, not, not exactly stories for everyone. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was fun. And that's the whole point, is just to have a good laugh and enjoy doing something that, you know, you don't have to criticize yourself for. You know, it's, it's not about your art skills. It's not about, you know, how good you are at um, linking, you know, various stories together to, you know, become a cohesive series of events. No, it's not about that. It's just about having fun. Thanks for watching.